Hi everybody, Emily and Kate here, back again to talk about the linen pinafores, which as of this afternoon are all finished. Cue confetti, fireworks, yes. everything. <laughs> Popping champagne, the whole nine yards. It was rough for you towards the end, huh? Yeah. In the morning I sort of lost it. It wasn't it was just dragging on and I realized that there was um, a flaw to mine and I just felt I don't know, hopeless. You mentioned maybe redoing it, and I was like, I just want to get this done. I've made three of these. It's over. So I tore through the end, and as soon as I put it on, I was instantly in love, mainly because of the pockets. Yeah, the pockets are a really nice feature. Being able to just have them, have all my stuff with me all the time. Yeah, I actually really stuck nice. my um, tape measure in mine yeah. all day and my chapstick, and that was. Very it's big helpful. enough to fit a ball of yarn. Couple projects. Your phone. <laughs> Your phone, by far, yeah. yeah. Um, I was carrying around some embroidery that I was, mm -hmm. impromptu embroidery I was doing. Why don't you show them? Oh, they're um, little scraps. I wonder if this is gonna flip it. I don't know. Well, you can look at the A one because it's obvious. It's yeah. the only one that's right. Um, these are the, the extra pieces of the strap that were coming down that we trimmed. And we're making them into linen bookmarks with some embroidery. Mm -hmm. So, sorry they're backwards for you. That's okay. They'll get it, I'm sure. So, shall we show them? Yeah, let's talk about how we did it. Yeah, that sounds um, good. So, we should I'll link hold it up and you can explain. Describe. So, to start with, we were inspired by an Instagram post. Yes. Do you want to tell? Yes, Kyrie Mead does uh, beautiful work for her daughters, and she made them. They were a gorgeous pinafores. color. Yes, like a rust colored or a fox colored pinafore. Persimmon. For each Maybe of her not. daughters, yeah. No, I think that's a good description. Um, and they were very beautiful. And I had always wanted to have a pinafore for my girl, but they were kind of pricey. Yeah. And I don't sew yet. So. You know, this when Kathleen where I come in. saw them, she was like, let's do them for the girls. We can totally do this. Yeah. And I was kind of doubtful, I have to say. I was a little nervous that it wasn't going to go well without a pattern. Right. Um, Kyrie gave some directions on her Instagram, but they weren't, um, explicit. you know, they were very just explicit. It was just very much bones. like, measure here, do this. And I'll link to that in the show notes. That actually, her description made me feel like it was possible because it was, you know, measure the the person's chest that you're going to make this for and measure from under their armpit down to wherever you want it to fall and cut out a giant rectangle. In fact, I think we cut out squares. It, yeah, they, when we measured our daughters, they were more square in shape mm -hmm. um, than rectangles. So then we, so, um, we cut out pockets, which we eyeballed again. I mean, we, we made perfect squares, but we were a little bit small on those um, for the girls, so I recut out ones. These are eight by eight and a half squares, and the straps were, as Kyrie suggested, four and a half inches wide strip, just long strips. And as I told you before, I had extra left over. So I started by hemming the entire rectangle, um, what was it, two inches? Yes, but first you, we folded it over. You ironed it. Yeah, first I ironed a small seam to fold over the rough edge. And yeah. then um, after that was all complete, she did a, you stitched that down, right? Mm -hmm. And then we folded it over a second time at two inches all the way around the rectangle. I didn't stitch it, I did the zigzag stitch on that edge, so okay. it really is solid. Maybe that was unnecessary. But then I folded it in, um, so it's all enclosed. I am not sure if there is a trick to de, um, I don't know what you call it, it's a de bulk the corners. I'm sure there is. A more experienced seamstress might be able to tell you, but I just folded it, whatever. Um, once that was completed, we put one of the straps on each of the top corners, and I was able to en enclose it in this last fold. Um, we sewed all of that down and had the Pinned girls, the yeah, yeah, we had the girls um, put them on. There's a crisscross in the back. Is it? Yep, you can see it. Um, so we 
took the straps over the front. Like overalls? Yeah. Put them where we wanted them to be <clears throat> approximately, pinned them in place, and then I laid it out on the table and actually measured. So just to be sure that it was even and evenly spaced from the corners, I stitched that down and made an X in the middle so it's really solid. And... Pockets. Pockets. So the pockets, again, we popped them on the girls and, you know, just slapped, them. slapped the pockets on where we thought would be a good spot for their hands, put it down on the table again and measured it all out, made sure it was right. And I took this square. This is a good... <laughs> Excuse me. So imagine this is the piece of pocket material. I folded each uh, raw edge in yeah, and then I ironed that down and so then stay. oh yeah you ironed it first and I, mm -hmm. I um, basically met the raw edge with the fold on the inside so just as an example she had folded it in and then I tucked it under and that's what I pinned stitched that down um, and I had hemmed it first on the upper edge I hope this is clear I hope I'm not confusing you it seems pretty much what we did, and I have to say that the pockets, which we weren't, I don't think, completely sold on until we actually started cutting everything out, mm -hmm. were what sold them to the girls. Yes. I mean, I mean, my, my daughter was very excited about it. Your daughter, though, was kind of ambivalent until the pockets were in, and then she found that she could put her Books. little <laughs> children's liturgy book from Ancient Faith in there. And right. Things that we collected on our walk. Little and treasures. I know she's gonna she's gonna fill those pockets with rocks mm -hmm. um, whenever we're walking around. That's another point. I um, stitched back and forth on all of the corners, back and forth, down again, here, 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 and then back again. Um, you can kind of see, I hope, um, all that reinforcement, so it's not gonna pop mm -hmm. off when it gets full of rocks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that sums it up, but if, if anything isn't clear, please let us know. I'll do my best to answer questions in the comments, and um, I hope that if you make them, you have as much success as we did. Before we go, I did want to say that the night that we cut out the pieces, Pearl Soho put up That's right. a um, Let's talk about pinafore. That. The Pearl Soho pattern for a pinafore is truly gorgeous and really um, well, architectural. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. But if you're looking for something more basic and simple, this fits the bill. As a person who's not, uh, I mean, I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to knitting unless I really uh, look at YouTube videos and things like that. And when I've knit from Pearl Soho patterns, and I know when we sewed the skirts a few months ago, what was that called? Gathered Skirt for All Ages. Mm -hmm their directions are extremely complex. I mean, it almost feel, felt like, to me, they were not speaking English. It you know, takes I, me it a was... while to wrap my head around the concepts. Yeah. It's definitely worth it in the end. They're um, beautifully well-constructed garments, but yeah. I just find them very hard to understand. So I wonder if that may be the case with this pinafore pattern. Um, that being said, I mean, if you do attempted I think that what you end up with will be amazing I mean yeah. we made the garter stitch hat for the baby yes. cousins and it's a gorgeous it hat. is I mean that's well, my go-to well that's my well go-to baby hat I I would say that that took me a while I mean you have to remember that I'm pretty sleep deprived in general so when I was reading that it was like wait what <laughs> and I had to Tink back quite a bit, and then now that I have it, I think I could knock that out. You know, once you Pretty know, once quickly. you get accustomed to their. But I feel like what I'm trying to get at, I think, is that you kind of have to know what you're doing with sewing and knitting, right. in order to understand what they're trying to get at. And a yeah. lot of times, I had to call up Catherine when I was mm -hmm. doing the garter stitch and say, "I don't know what they're saying. Could you please explain this to right. me and just tell me what to do, what sort of video to look up." so mm -hmm. that I can actually get this. Right. So, I mean, I would just be aware of that if you're going to do the Pearl Soho pattern. That being yeah. said, I mean, it's a beautiful thing. It is, and I love their colors. They're so juicy. They have a lot of nice colors of linen. We are salivating over that handkerchief linen. Yes. And we're thinking of using it maybe in some summer skirts for the girls. In the mm -hmm. You know, once, once we get together, I'm hoping we'll have a, another summer trip where we can get some more sewing done. That was really fun. Going it's to really the way to do it. I mean, 
at home I barely sew <clears throat> with the sewing machine. I'm doing a lot of hand stitching, but um, sewing with the machine takes a lot of effort because I have to get out all of my supplies and I'm constantly interrupted. But when I'm here, we tag team. Yeah, we do. So it works we, out really we well. Were we were joking about that today. Kat, Kate had to go um, to Walmart and I said to her, bye honey, I'll have tuna, <laughs> back, have tuna ready when you're, you're home and I'll yes. light the fire. And she's like, it's kind of like you are my wife. Yeah, I think we're and each other's like, wives. She's my wife getting sister things wives. done. Yeah, sister wife. Mm. <laughs> it's the best though. I wish that it could be all the time. I know, I do too. We need our other two girls here too. Yes. Yeah, the they, would con they would contribute. They'd go for french fry runs for us. Yeah, actually, I think we're going to do some videos with them. I think it's going to be fun. <laughs> well, I on think that I note, we'll see you soon, I think. Yeah, right? yeah let us know <clears throat> if you're planning on making these and if, if there's anything that we can add to it to make it easier. Have a great night. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.